Question 16. For JMS enabled application, what are the core JMS related objects required? Answer. The core JMS related objects that are required are the connection object one or more sessions within a connection that provides a context for message sending and receiving, a topic or queue object within a session representing the destination within the message broker, appropriate sender or publisher or receiver within a session. Question 17. What is JMS administered object? Answer. JMS administered object is a pre-configured JMS object that is created by an administrator for the use of JMS clients and placed in JNDI namespace. Question 18. What is the important part of JMS applications? Answer. Session connection message message producer message consumer connection factory and destination. Question 19. What is JMS session? Answer. A JMS session is a single threaded context for sending and receiving JMS messages. A JMS session could be a locally transacted, non-transacted or distributed transacted. Question 20. Mention the difference between durable and non-durable subscription. Answer. Durable subscription gives a subscriber the freedom of receiving all messages from a topic, while a non-durable subscription does not make any guarantees about messages sent by others when a client get disconnected by others. Question 21. What is byte message? Answer. Byte message is a stream of uninterrupted bytes. It contains an array of primitive bytes in its payload. For the transfer of data between two applications in their native format, byte message is used, which may be not possible with other message types. Question 22. Give an example of using point-to-point -point model in JMS. Answer. Example for point-to-point -point model, would be a printout. When you select a printout option, your system sends the message to the server, and once the printout is taken out, again this server will send the message back to you. Point-to-point -point model is used, when the information is specific to a single client. Question 23. What is the role of the JMS provider? Answer. The JMS provider handles data conversion, security of the messages and the client triggering. It specifies the level of encryption, security level of the message and the best data type for the non-JMS client. Question 24. What are the components of JMS? Answer. JMS provider JMS client messages administered objects native clients. Question 25. How JMS is different from RPC? Answer. In RPC the method invoker waits for the method to finish execution and return the control back to the invoker. Thus it is completely synchronous in nature. While in JMS the message sender just sends the message to the destination and continues its own processing. The sender does not wait for the receiver to respond. This is asynchronous behavior. Question 26. Which models are supported by JMS? Please, explain them. Answer. Publish. Subscribe. This model allows a client, publisher, to send messages to a JMS topic. These messages are retrieved by other clients, subscribers. It may happen so that a topic has no subscribers, asynchronously. Pub. Sub model requires a broker distributing messages to different consumers. Question 27. How may messaging models do JMS provide for and what are they? Answer. JMS provides for two messaging models, publish and subscribe and point-to-point -point queuing. Question 28. What is the point-to-point -point model in JMS? Answer. A point-to-point -point model is based on the concept of a message queue. Senders send messages into the queue, and the receiver reads messages from this queue. In the point-to-point -point model, several receivers can exist, attached to the same queue. However, message-oriented middleware, MUM will deliver the message only to one of them, to which depends on the MUM implementation. Question 29. What is the publish and subscribe model in JMS? Answer. A publish subscribe model is based on the message topic concept. Publishers send messages in a topic, and all subscribers of the given topic receive these messages. Question 30. What is publish, subscribe messaging? Answer. With publish, subscribe message passing the sending application, client establishes a named topic in the JMS broker, server and publishes messages to this queue. The receiving clients register, specifically, subscribe via the broker to messages by topic. Every subscriber to a topic receives each message published to that topic. There is a one-to-many relationship between the publishing client and the subscribing clients.